What's up guys, here is teacher Daniel. Uh, Salamat. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, some vocabulary related to health problems and health in general. Uh, so you have here the pictures and the words in the middle. So you have the words temperature, doctor, x-ray, hospital, eye drops, plaster, nurse, drip, sling, thermometer, headache, ambulance, orderly, pills, stretcher, flu, operating room, operating room, checkup, inhaler, sleeping disc, sorry, slipped disc, cough, syrup, earache, stethoscope, stethoscope, crutches, prescription, tisane, tisane, toothache, tablets, injection, stomachache, wheelchair, and sticking plaster. Do you know what those mean? Uh, so let's start here. For first one, do you know this one? This is the wheelchair, wheelchair. Number two, this is a stretcher, stretcher. Number three, when you feel pain in your teeth, you have a toothache, toothache. When you're like me, you're a chum. You take a cough syrup, cough syrup. It makes you feel good, yeah? Uh, number three here, when you're hot, what do you have? You have a temperature, you have a temperature, yeah? Uh, number six, this is an injection. Most people don't like this. I hate it. Uh, injection. Needles. Ugh. Number seven. I always forget this word. It's called crutches. Crutches. Number eight. Pills. Yes, any kind of like small medicine you take. Pills. Number nine. You have pills. There are small ones and you have tablets. Yeah, the ones that come into uh, the aluminum thingy. I don't know how you call that. Anyways, uh, so you have pills and you have tablets. Uh, you have the sticking plaster. Most people call it Band-Aid because it's a famous brand. Uh, number 11, we have here eye drops. Yeah, when your eyes are, uh, you, you, I, I mean, they're, if they're sick or if they're dry, you use eye drops. How about 12? This guy has a flu. See his nose, red nose. You have the flu. Uh, number 13, what's the name? It's a thermometer. Thermometer. You use this when you have temperature or a fever. Yes, we also call a fever. This one, how you call it? An x ray. X ray. This, most u doctors use this. It's called a stethoscope. Stethoscope. Hard word to say. How about this one? You put uh, on your arm, on your hand, on your foot. If you break your foot, it's called plaster. Plaster. This one, uh, we call it the operating room. The operating room. How about this? Like plaster, but to hold your arm. Uh, when you put the plaster, you use this, or in the head, we call it a sling. A sling. If your head hurts, uh, you know this one. You have a headache. If you can't breathe because there's too much sand in the air, like if you live in Riyadh, yeah? You use an inhaler that helps you breathe. Inhaler. Uh, some people actually can die if they don't have that. Anyways, number 21, if your doctor give you a pa gives you a paper for medicine, so you can buy medicine, he, gave, he gives you a prescription. Prescription. Number 22 is the easiest one. A nurse. I know you use it in Arabic also, yes? A nurse. You call it a sister. Uh, number 23... Uh, you have a slipped disc if your uh, vertebrae is like this, it's curved, yes? Oh, this must hurt a lot. Uh, anyways, if your ears hurt, maybe you have water inside and you have an infection, you have an earache, earache. If you have the flu, you can take tisane, tisane, yeah? 26, if you ate too much kibsa and then you ate some margug, you have now a stomachache. Stomachache. Number 27. Uh, this is, uh, we call it orderly. Orderly. 
is the person that helps uh, with general activities in the in the hospital. But it can also be a verb, yes, or uh, an adverb, orderly, like when you make things like in in an orderly fashion, yes, organized in an organized way, which was like the uh, celebration yesterday for Saudi National Day. Anyways, twenty eight. Uh, it's a drip. Yeah, when you when you have uh, you lost blood or you're in the hospital, you need this. Uh, to keep your blood going. Um, number 29, uh, that's a checkup. You should do this at least every year or every six months. You just go to make sure everything is good. If you're older, you should do it more often than that. And uh, number 30, a lot of people forget the name of this. It's an ambulance, you know? Woo! Ambulance. And if you're in Saudi, remember, if you see an ambulance, Give way, yes? Go to the right, let them pass. Maybe someone from your family is inside of the ambulance. So, la uh, simahala. Uh, anyways, number 31, doctor. Number 32, hospital. So, here is the uh, all the words related to health that I wanted to uh, teach you today. Just if you can, if you want to check the spelling, just uh, stop the video at any time and uh, check the spelling. Okay. If you have any questions, or if I made any mistakes, and you're a doctor or you're a nurse, if I made any mistakes, just put in the comment section below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and please retweet if you want me to uh, record more of these. Yalla, ma salama, salamat. Hey guys, if you want to uh, learn some phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs happen when we have a verb and a preposition together. Uh, so they mean something else, something different. So if you want to learn some phrasal verbs, I have 15 common phrasal verbs here for you. Just click on the, the link on top, okay? You're all the bite.